Tonight, CBS 4 News investigates one of those stories that could really only be set here in South Florida, a tale of modern piracy involving a 400-year-old gold bar. When it disappeared eight years ago from Key West, it touched off an international search, but authorities think they finally have an answer. So we sent CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy to investigate. In 2010, two men walked into the Mel Fisher Museum in Key West and stole a nearly 400-year-old gold bar from a specially designed case that would allow people to hold the historic artifact without actually taking it. I covered the gold bar caper when it happened and interviewed the museum's director. You're not having a very good week here, are you? Well, it's, it's, it's a challenging week. It's, it's one like no other before. Now, eight years later, one of those brigands has confessed while his alleged accomplice goes on trial in federal court this week. Yeah, we're probably down here for the rest of the day, then head back up to Miami. But if you want to understand the history of that gold bar, you should go see the archaeologists over at the Mel Fisher Museum. Along the way, I'll get you started. The gold bar was found on the ocean floor in 1980, inside the remnants of the Santa Margarita, a Spanish galleon that was part of a fleet of ships that sank in 1622, just 25 miles off of Key West. But here's the expert, Corey Malcolm. The Santa Margarita left Havana in uh, September 4th of 1622. And by September 5th, a hurricane sprung up out of nowhere and uh, struck the fleet and uh, caused seven of these ships to sink. When Mel Fisher's team discovered the wreck, they were taken aback by one particular item, a five pound gold ingot worth more than half a million dollars. So impressive was this gold bar, they built a special case for it. That personal encounter with something that, you know, had been on the seafloor for centuries and lost and forgotten, and here it was reawakened and telling them by touch. It's just a tragedy that that isn't happening anymore. And that's because of these two men. While one acted as a lookout, the other went back and forth to the case, using something to help him break the box. Before anyone noticed, he removed the gold bar, tucked it into his pants, and walked off with it. Of course, it's just that sense, uh, you know, that, that violation of uh, how could they do this? Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why? There were all sorts of crazy rumors and stories going around. But if you don't believe me, go inside. The mayor is in there. A lot of rumors, was it inside job, where these people come from? How could they get out of town? You know, question was, was it a boat, a private plane, commercial, car? So the theft of the gold bar set off a nationwide manhunt for the two fugitives. Here's Key West Police Chief Donnie Lee to describe it. I'm Key West Police Chief Donnie Lee. Investigators believe the men in the video were international art thieves posing as Italian tourists. And we tracked these people ultimately down all the way to uh, in Italy. But it turned out the Italians weren't involved. And several years later, we got a tip. That tip led them earlier this year to Jared Goldman and Richard Stephen Johnson, who back in 2010 were living in Palm Beach. After Johnson confessed, the FBI asked him to clear up the rumors. Had they gotten away by boat or plane? Of course, the truth turned out to be a lot less interesting. After making off with the gold bar, they got in a green Ford Escape and drove back up to Palm Beach County. Would you take my picture? No. Johnson recently pled guilty and will now testify against Goldman. Our greatest fantasy here is that that gold bar comes back and we can put it back on display. Prosecutors say a small portion of the gold bar has been recovered, but the fate of the rest remains a mystery. I think it's personal for everyone, and we want that gold bar back. That's our gold bar. We want it back. I'm Jim DeFeedy, CBS4 News.